Buba Galadima is the spokesman of the PDP's Presidential Campaign Council, and he joins me now in the studio. Very, very happy to see you here. Thank you, and Charles. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to come in. Thank you very much, Charles. First of all, your reaction to what uh, Adam Zoshimole was saying there. Well, that is vintage APC. They are at best in changing the goalpost. It is ironical that Adams Oshumale, the chairman of the APC, would talk about peace, would talk about violence, and accuse other people. In the first place, let me correct one impression. When the peace accord was to be signed at the first instance, our party and presidential candidate did not receive an invitation. Yes, and I, that I, is I remember, on record. I remember hearing, I remember hearing, hearing um, the, I think the chairman of that peace committee saying that, the former head of state, Abdul Salami. So Abdul. you can see, whatever an APC man says, it's a big lie. And they tell you exactly what they intend to do. And they accuse you of that offense. That is vintage APC. Nigerians have known them for now. We are not surprised that he will say that he should tell Nigerians how many policemen and soldiers he took to his village and locked out everybody in his house and generated 700 plus votes for himself. When I know as a fact that there are people who worked for him on his farm, in his house, that had voted for us, we have 34 of them. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens in courts then. Thank you very much. Presumably, you're going to have all those people come forth and give evidence. Definitely. But the, 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 a critic would say that, you know, you're, you're just, um, it's all over, but you're shouting because, I mean, the, all the figures from INEC and, and those same figures have been, if you like, to some extent, authenticated by, by international observers who are here, by also some local monitors who are here, that they, they say, I mean, the, the British government, for example, said that the, the, the figures that they have using, because they, 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 they supported a parallel vo uh, tabulation system to s make sure that it matches that of INEC, that, that the figures they have matches that of INEC. No, that is not correct. Well, I have, <coughs> the, I have the, the press release from the UK government. Fine, they can have anything, but what we have is contrary to what has been dished out to the public. And the impression created was extremely negative to what is on the ground. This election had not been peaceful. This election had not been fair, transparent, and credible. And in several respects, take what had happened in Rivers. That is our stronghold. And Charles, I think you pressmen, should go back to the archives and dig out what has people, credible people have said in the processes of this electioneering up to voting. There is nothing that had happened during voting or on the day of voting that I have not warned about or have spoken about in this program, in this, on, on, on this channel and other channels across the country. The problem is that you said we should go back to the archive, Mr. Galadima. I mean, we have gone back to the archives. And yes. going back and to, that told to me, 19... And that, and that archives told you that I did not warn no, 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 it's not that you. these people... I, I'm not talking about you. You did warn, but I mean, and your party did warn. But, but going back to the history of Nigerian elections, what we're seeing happening that you're saying is exactly what happens with every single election in this country. But Mr. So Buhari do we, himself. Do we, do, we, do we continue in the age of our grandparents and parents no, what at this it? stage what? and hand over this kind of brigandage no, no, to our no, children I, I'm and not grandchildren? We should. Is what that I, what you are suggesting? No, what I am saying is that there is a history the in Nigeria is, of rejecting every results. Every election would be an improvement on the last one. Is this an improvement on 2015? In 2015, by Sunday, the following day after election, by 5 p.m., the elections were almost concluded and President Jonathan called candidate Buhari to congratulate him. 
This time around, by 5 p.m., the counting had not even started. Even at pulling booth level in certain instances, let alone national level. Have you seen that? These well, people. I'm not making this, excuses for INEC, but clearly they, they, they according to justice, them. Justice delayed is what? According to. I well, say justice delayed is what? Well, I can, only, I can only quote the cliche, which is justice denied. Thank you very but much. But I mean, but the bottom. Thank you that you are telling me that you are safe. Yeah, but it's a cliche, and I simply completed the cliche. It doesn't mean that I am applying that in you don't this believe, particular you don't, you don't believe that You don't believe in that saying. No, I, I have to remain objective in all this. But, but let me I hope, I hope, I hope you know that your father was one of the greatest justices that this country ever produced. Yeah, but, and what, lived by example. Yes, but, but that's the, I don't see it what direct relevance that has to, the, to, to do no, with what I'm actually talking about. It has no relevance to, to elogize people who are good. No, no, so I, 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 don't, good. I don't have any problems. You can sit there and talk about my father all day. I'll listen to you because I admire him a lot. Thank you. But let me ask you this, though. There was a rumor um, and certain reports that suggested that you were arrested on Monday. Is that a fact? Forget about that rumor. The issue is not Buba Galadima. No, no, but Buba we, we, Galadima is nothing no, but in, no, the, but, in the political but variables and calculus no, no, of this country. Well, well, I'll come in like well, Let me explain why let's it talk, is important. Let's talk about Nigeria. No, I know, but let me explain Thank why you. it is important. Mm. It is important in the context of the general impression that that is, that, are, that is being given by a certain section of Nigerians, by including, including the PDP, by that, the, that political muscle was exercised by the APC using security operatives and all that to try and suppress the people from the opposition. That's why it is important to know what happened to you and to get a sense of haven't I haven't I said haven't I said and professed this on a program here on this station? Didn't you hear Kiamo made a public announcement that I should be picked? Didn't you see that a, a car without number came to my house and I confronted the people. We, it, we were, they were snapped and their faces captured, trying to assassinate me. Didn't you hear that PD, uh, APC stalwarts have said several things about me? They wanted me out of the way so that the world will not know what they plan to, or what they are trying to do in this country to subvert the will of the people, which they had done in rivers, in Akwai Bomb, in Delta, in, 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 in Ibonyi, in uh, Sokoto, in Kebi, in Zamfara, in Kano, in Kasina, in Borno, in Yobe, in Bauchi? Well, their point is that you were making inflammatory remarks that could, uh, I mean, heat up the Nigerian, to use a cliche, polity, and that you were preparing to announce parallel results and that legally, that was not that's not allowed that it's only the INEC that can announce the maybe, results maybe Charles announced. you are in possession of that clip no no I, I'm, I'm simply are asking you? you I need clarification are from you in you possession of that clip no no I, I, I am not all that they tell you all whatever in we need APC man tells you. you take Kiamo everything that he said PDP would do is what they have planned to do and they accuse PDP of doing that and they now go ahead and perfect and do it in case it happens and it boomerangs, they say, oh, we've told you. This is why they have removed the chief justice. This is why they wanted to remove the INEC chairman. They were just doing drama, playing with the intelligence of Nigerians. They think we are fools. We know them. So, so basically, you were not planning to release a parallel election result. Did I have, were the results out that time? Now they are out. I could talk authoritatively that what we have as evidence in our hands that we are clearly better, we did better than the APC, and that the courts will be presented to the courts, and the courts have to decide. At the risk of sounding terribly salacious, I mean, what was the experience like? I mean, what can you just put, take us through the sequence of how you got picked up, where you were taken to, and what the experience Charles, was like? Charles, that is not an issue for me. No, no, I but, have but, been but, arrested. But I have told to you know. on this program and other programs. Right. I have been arrested because of this man 38 times. I had also told you that I was tried for treason. Chained, leg, foot, head, put inside a 
a hole four floors b b below ground level in park lane number one all because of this man who, so man? my experiences what in man? this eh? what man general buhari right okay or, or, or anybody will deny that so if i'm picked the only thing that did not happen to me is the bullet But what did they do to you this time? Forget about what they no, do no, to me. They cannot to stop know. me. The issue we is can, that we can, we can make no, assessments no based on the experience. No harassment, no intimidation would stop me from saying the truth. No, and I, I am talking I before you that, now. But we Let's need... not waste this time. There are a lot Nigerians need to do right. know about this election. We need to know the circumstances under which The circumstance is that they don't want, they, they don't want me uh, available right. to say my mind. Nothing can be outside of that. So they basically kept you out of the way, according of, of to course, what you're saying. Of course, and did what on, they did. Until the results were yes. released. Right. And um, let's, let's then focus on the things that you, were, that you want to focus on, which is the election proper yeah. and the results from that. I mean, from what I understand that you're saying, there seems to be a difference in the turnout, or one of the things that you're saying, a difference in the turnout between the figures we're told officially which is just over 35 percent clearly very low and what we saw for instance in videos and from monitors and observers and so on who seem to think anecdotally that the turnout was quite high um, which from your point of view is more is the more correct assessment of the turnout let me say something which I've said before mm. I said in areas where they are, they are strong, they plan to help themselves by using security forces mm. and intimidate, harass the opposition, and write figures for themselves. And this they had done for Kebi, for Sokoto, for Zamfara, for Kasina, for Kaduna, for Kano, for Jigawa, for Yobe, for Borno, and for Bauchi. They had also did that change our figures in Benway, change our figures in Plato, change our figures in Kogi, change our figures in Kwara and Nasarawa. This they had done. They know. And they had also intimidated our people and stopped them from voting or coming out. Release of military people, scare them of their district and killed an uncountable number of people in, in, in River State and other, uh, and other neighboring, neighboring, neighboring states. This is why Rivers, with the, with the registered voters of 3.2 million, had less than 500,000 people that were able. And several local governments, they almost obliterated. And no voting took place just because they wanted to suppress our votes in those places. Look at what had happened in Akwaibo. If a PDP man had announced the results and announced himself as winner of the election, it could have been a big hist story now the man might have been picked in fact maybe it is uh bichi and uh, and uh, burate that would be interrogating him look at that what do you call that one a fabio do you know him do you know I've who heard of him. you heard of him may god the forbid that you never may, may god of, uh, may god of, never of allow you to check mistake. such a beast <laughs> Well, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say that. That, that is clearly defamatory. He, 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 and, and that, I that, apologize. Yeah, please. You have to I apologize. Withdraw That's finished. That. I apologize. Right, okay. That guy announced himself as a winner of an election. But this is why we said this government is doing selective justice. He has not been picked. They just thought that Buba Galadima, if free, he would bring counter-authentic results. They put me off. But somebody who announced himself is left parading himself, even, even, even dining and whining with the president. Mm. Is, that the kind of, is that the kind of country where selective justice and laws are meant for two groups of people? Now, the situation is, the matter is not about voting. What is it that had happened between voting? And this is why I want our supporters and Nigerians alike to look at one, why is it that sensitive materials are all over the country in the hands of several people who have no business in officiating about the elections? How did it get to them? One reason is that the APC is a judge in its own court. 
the contractor that supplied all electoral materials is even a candidate. Yeah, but well, well, I'm coming, well, well, Charles. Yeah, let okay. me assist the okay. country. Go on, go it's on. even a candidate. This is why all the electoral materials, including ballot papers and whatnot, are found in marketplaces, in hamlets, in villages, in towns, in cities. People are just voting. How did it happen that all the security agencies who will shoot, who were asked to shoot at sight, were not shooting the PDP, uh, APC people that were voting Buhari? Why? Well, let, let I'm me, coming. Right. And when they, when they went to CBN to collect sensitive materials and distribute to, loca, uh, to local governments in various states, all the party agents were chased out, other party agents. And these sensitive materials in places like Zamfara, no result sheet was given to any polling agent. So they were just kept in, 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 in Gusau and papers were just filled. Right. And well, announced. Well, well, I have to and come in, in here. Borno, in right. Borno, in the morning, bombs went off. I want to say that those bombs may not have been started or detonated by Boko Haram, as they would want the nation to know. It just enabled them to sit down and write figures right. for okay. themselves. Well, because obviously. I will give you evidence. Right. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna come our in presidential here. candidate was alleged to have scored. 57,000 in the whole of Borno. Right. While in southern Borno senatorial election, our senatorial candidate scored 80 something so lawful votes. In fact, those who are the winning votes. Right. Not but, the well, candidate I, I, from I'm central. I'm afraid I have to come in here because this is not a monologue, it's a dialogue. And, and the, the point I, I need to make is that you, you've made a number of allegations, and I need to emphasize. Don't and, say and, allegation. No, no, hold on. They, they are allegations. That's what you are thinking. No, no, hold on. Until to me, until, they are the truth. No, until they are proven in a court of law, we, they have to be seen as allegations. So the point I'm trying to make is this. You talked about somebody who printed the ballot papers and all of that. Who was is, that in, is that in dispute? No, no, hold on. Let me make the point. I haven't made the point. Th that he was in bed, essentially, with the APC. W what I need no, to ask... No, a member of the APC. Please, right. not in bed. Okay. What, what I need to he ask... He is APC himself. Right. He's what, a candidate. Okay. He won election. Right. You made... 240-something. Yeah, you made... 80-something. I don't the know. Point. I can't remember. What I need to ask you is this, Mr. Galadima. What was the point of this election for you? the PDP, because spooling back a little bit, you had already said at the outset that it wasn't going to be free, fair, and credible. So in a sense, it was always going to end like this for you, wasn't it? I mean, with nothing delivered for you. What was the point of taking part in the election? Because by doing Ch that, Ch you Ch lent credibility to the process. Ch Ch Charles, you should know that I had been in this game for the last 41 years. Mm. So I should have the necessary experience to project. And I did so project. And all of it, 100%, had come out to be right. Why did we participate when we know that they will rig the election? We have participated now. And God has caught them. Because we had cameras in all, in virtually, majority of the polling booths in this country and we have captured all events that took place we have captured all the results that were announced at the polling booth level and we have come to the conclusion to our satisfaction that if there is justice and that if Nigerian judges are courageous like your father Atiku would be the president of Nigeria so, so a disappointment, it is fair to say, for you and your supporters. Clearly not so for Mr. Buhari and his supporters. But as I said, the PDP from the beginning, because you, you, you've come here several times. Yes. And you made this point very sort of, you know, robustly before that, the, the, you, you know, that, that this was going to be a rigged election. Therefore, you were careful even before the election took place, to lower expectations. Um, and to that extent, the, uh, this outcome, it is fair to say, is not a surprise for you. It can't I mean, be a surprise. That is why we use the technology to detect them. And I had said here, you asked me a question, that what would President Atiku would have done to sort out insurgency? 
And I told you simply that Atiku is a modern man. Atiku knows his, uh, uh, this thing, that he will use technology to track thieves and robbers and kidnappers. This is exactly what we had done because the APC people are virtually robbers, vampires, kidnappers, and Right. Okay. Those are allegations again. But from your point, from your point of view, allegations. People from, who from, stole people's mandate. From, you from call your, them allegations. Well, we, we haven't proven that in court Thank until you. we do their allegations. Yes. From your point of view, Mr. Galadima, how much does all this represent a failure on the part of the Electoral Commission, or was it other parts of the system that failed, not INEC specifically? No, specifically INEC. INEC had all along been deceiving people. And they were playing games with the PDP, playing drama. When they postponed the first election, mm. they knew exactly what they were doing. They were in cohort. And then the, PDP, uh, the APC came strongly on the chairman of the INEC. I said so here. Just to show that they, do, they are not doing things in cohort uh, together. And I have told you that the young man, erroneously, I said he was... He was looking uh, uh, like his own grandfather of five days ago. I said this. So they were all playing games. They allowed us to go to the field, say, spend our money, and then they now postponed the election five hours to the election and asked bank chief executives, I have a friend who wanted to send me 200,000 Naira on Friday, and all my accounts were blocked, and I hadn't got 200,000 Naira in the accounts. Why would they block my account? If I had a fat bank account like Charles, uh, maybe <laughs> they, could have, they could have blocked it. But like 200,000 Naira of account. somebody like me, they blocked my account. And I know. So your account was blocked before the election. Yes, on Friday. And that man wanted to send me 200,000 Naira so that I can buy uh, uh, wa pure water for people when we celebrate. Because we thought that this election will be conducted before 6 p.m. On, 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 on Saturday. Results would have been out from all the polling booths. We didn't know that they deliberately delayed to count the results and take it to the night. So that they will now enlist soldiers and, 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 and security people to subvert the will of the people. Mr. Galadima, wasn't the real reason for this election defeat simply that it was a battle i hope i hope i no, hope no, you need to know that we, they were not defeated can i make the point okay wasn't the real reason for this election defeat simply that this was a battle between a candidate president buhari that many people trust in Nigeria, but who, it is fair to say, has not performed particularly well, and that Tiku Abubakar, who people felt had issues of 16 years baggage, of 16 years of PDP, and issues of corruption dogging him, and pe people simply decided to go the other way. Charles, I hope you remember you had asked this question before. Well, I'm asking you the question again. Again. And in so the, are you, in the are you, context of the election... I now say that Buhari is a dishonest person. No, no, no. I am saying... No, I'm, I, that's what you are suggesting. No, that's not what I'm suggesting. The you question, are suggesting the that because you are now saying that in Buhari's government there are some secret cows. No, no, no. All I'm saying is so what, very, what, I am what, very clearly saying if Atiku, that, if that Atiku, this was a battle what was between the, what President was the, Buhari. Tell me one single accusation against Atiku of corruption. Well, there have been lots of allegations. Uh, uh, not of a lot. You are, now you are alleging. No, no, I'm saying there have been lots of allegations What, what are them? Him. Mention one. There are a number of them. Uh, say there, one. There, there is a number of them that appeared in records in the United States that he, 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 he through his wife, he, spirit, he spirited out some $40 million out of Nigeria. Uh -huh. There are other ones where he appeared to be in cahoots with a congressman in the United States uh -huh. who was eventually indicted and uh -huh. who apparently uh -huh. stated that he was, in fact, in cahoots with Mr. Atiku. So that Mr. Is, Atiku was never indicted. So, so, That's so, why I said there are allegations. And those are just two. So, so you, are, you are now telling me that Buhari's fight against uh, corruption is falsehood. No, no, no. And that they are corrupt person, a high, a high flair figure like Atiku, who is accused of corruption, cannot be brought to book.
no, no, because no. Abu Hari is a friend I'm of him. All I'm saying is this, okay? I am, I am, that is I what am, you are suggesting. No, but what well, can I tell you what I'm saying? So, so the issue of selective <laughs> Rather justice. Than telling me what now, I'm the, the, Then the issue of selective justice that Buhari is doing is now confirmed no, by you. No, what I am saying is this. Why should he arrest another man and not arrest Atifu? I am saying that the impression. And Atifu is his nightmare. Because we have talked to a lot of people, and I'm saying that. And they, it, they that, told you that, that Atifu that, had that, cases. That is the real and, uh, and, reason. And can, when you go to the U.S. now, can you say to them in U.S. that there was a criminal who came to this country named Atiku Abu Bakr, who was accused of doing this, 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 and you let him off? Well, so Reuters, you are you are issue of your justice system. Reuters released a report. Which Reuters? Uh, didn't I, the news I, agency Reuters. Who was that? The the lady who released that report. I saw her here. <laughs> Don't you? She was releasing was she releasing the report from your studio here? No, she wasn't releasing it from the studio. What yeah. brought her? Just the report was released just twenty-four hours. What brought her to Nigeria at that time? In okay, the let, let me ask you this. No, 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 no. You have to answer Nigerians. <laughs> so I'm, it's I'm been afraid. promoted. It's been promoted by I'm, your by your station. I'm a, no, 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 no. That falsehood. It's not a promotion. Because nobody. No, we, why didn't she release the result in U.S.? I mean, the the video in U.S. or in 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 in. No, in, no, no. In, in, I, in, I, I think we're talking about two different things. Not but, but different. Me, I saw the lady here. Yeah, but let, let me let didn't me move I? on. Let me move on from. No, there. don't move. We have to settle this matter. <laughs> I'm not Don't quite sure move. whether I'm not. <laughs> so Atiku is an honest person that right. cannot be prosecuted for any offense by both the judicial system in the U.S. and in Nigeria. Okay, let's move and on. And until from that. he's proved guilty, right? You can don't ever mention. But you can that see, he has questions. You can see. Don't ever mention right. that he has questions. To answer about the issue no, of no, no. corruption. Again, you misunderstand. No, me. I didn't because say you question. keep on, you no. keep on, you keep on. Charles, I, I, I know now. You keep on repeating this issue no, and no, keeping no. I, it fresh in the understand. memory of Nigerians, I'm, and it is falsehood. I'm trying to Those understand. Those who accuse Akiku are it, worse criminals than him. Yeah, but that's not the point. The point I'm making is that is it conceivable? That the perception Would he have won the election? That, that the perception of Mr. Buhari and Mr. Who Atiku, is honest there? Is that is, is the, one of well? Let's let's what, stay what with a man what who is, what is personally the has no. Uh, we, we've What's never heard anybody associating is, him with corruption. Whereas let him live. Of, let him leave office and you hear. Is Atiku has left office. Let him leave office and you hear. Well, Atiku we're left. almost out of time. Let me ask you this: What's the mood now within the PDP party as you prepare? for the, this long drawn out wrangling in the courts. I mean, are things relaxed in the PDP or tense? We, we were never tensed because we know we are on the path of truth and justice. And we know that if there is justice and if there are honest judges in this country, Atiku will reclaim his mandate, stolen mandate. And that is where we are. And we've told our people that we cannot destroy our house because we are going to take over. So why should we fight anybody? That is why they are trying to blackmail virtually everybody. But the issue I wanted, the point I wanted to make is that the international community should look beyond voting at polling stations. That all this rigmarole and theft and intimidation happened behind the scene. Have you seen what they had done in Rivers, in Abonima, in Okrika, in Boni? in Asari Toro, in Emoha, and in Eche. Have you seen that one? Why didn't any observer mention that one in his report? How many people were killed? Hundreds. No observer has mentioned that. Well, Have you seen what had happened in Zafara? I don't think that's Had you fair. seen? I, I think the, the figures that are, that, 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 that are officially in the public domain uh, are of 37 uh, each, people each who, time, who died. Each time they tell you, if, each time they give you, officials give you a figure of 10, add zero. Zero is nothing, but it makes it 100. <laughs> On that note, uh, I have to say, Buba Galadina. We have not assisted the people well. Buba because we need to have really x-rayed this this. This, 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 uh, well, there's still this, time, and, 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 and hopefully and there will be. Are, they will are asking be. me to come here at 7 o'clock. They should raise these issues about this election, whether it is credible, fair, and just.
or there was a level playing field. We need to have one hour to discuss that one. So well, Nigerians, well, to be and, honest with you, non Nigerians would now know right. what had really happened. Well, we, we really happened. must go, but if you're available, I'm sure Arise News will be happy to speak with you again in the morning on the morning show. So if you can make it, please I come in. I understand that has already been arranged. Thank you. And I think we'll be Is very this happy. Be repeated? We'll be, this, this will this. be repeated tonight at midnight and to tomorrow at midday. Thank you, Charles. Bobe Galadima, the uh, presidential, uh, sp uh, the, the spokesman for the PDP's presidential campaign council. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Charles. That's it for this edition of Decision 2019. Join us again for a fresh edition tomorrow from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.